Hey guys, a bit of a disaster today. My extractor fan for my fruiting chamber actually blew last night. And when that blew, it, um, it blew the breaker and it brought the um, entire fruiting room um, to its knees pretty much. It just shut everything down in there. So I got out there this morning to find everything was powered down. Now it's a, uh, uh, the problem was that, that when I bought the extractor fan, which is this one right here, um, um, it actually, it's not a waterproof fan, but I thought I'd give it a nudge and I'll see how we went. And I actually tried to uh, silicon up a lot of the gaps in there myself to make it a bit more waterproof. And I actually missed one um, key gap and uh, water had got in there. And then about two months, three months later, it actually um, it blew it to bits. It's actually, I've opened it up and there's actually, um, there's, uh, I don't know what you'd call transistors or something in there, capacitors, which are, uh, have actually like exploded and tore themselves to bits. So, um, so that's not, I'm not gonna use that anymore, but I have got a replacement here, which I'm gonna try. And so I'll take you through that now. So this is the fan I was using here. Now it's a variable speed um, fan which runs off 240 volts. So just plug it straight into the wall. Um, now it's got no ingress protection. And if we look at the back of it, I'll actually show you where it's blown. Where is it? So if we look at this, get that in focus if we look at this uh, I think it's a resistor here that's actually blown to bits and on the other end actually here there's transistors which are all cooked and this is all cooked here and right next to the coil um, so that fan couldn't couldn't handle the jandal um, now a big difference between this fan and a centrifugal fan like the one I've got here is the componentry for this fan was actually mounted inside the fan on the back and when the air is blowing past it water was able to sort of ingress and around it and it actually got into the circuitry of it now the difference between that and this with this fan you'll notice the circuitry is generally hanging off the edge and the fan it's, the fan itself just has a big motor in there um, with a big cable coming off it so so that's a tough lesson to learn this fan wasn't cheap as well because i'm buying it in new zealand um so that's pretty much ruined um so i'm probably looking at going to a centrifugal fan but i don't have one right now so i'm going to sub in my old trusty um, ip68 computer type fans here now these fans uh, as i said are ip68 so i can plug this in it runs 12 volts, 6 watts, so it's not all that powerful, but I can actually throw it in a bucket of water and it will keep going. These things will not skip a beat. Um, I've had that in there before, it's just a spare one I've got lying around. So I'm going to get that in there now until I can look for a, um, a centrifugal type fan. As I said, that's got its, its componentry hanging on the outside. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't actually think about the components being mounted inside the fan, inside the tunnel of wind, when I bought this. Um, it wasn't until it cooked itself last night that I thought, oh shit, that's, uh, that's probably not ideal for a mushroom fruiting chamber. Hey guys, if you want to see more mushroom grow goodness, make sure you hit that subscribe. Subscribe button. Subscribe button. <laughs>